Hey guys, I want to do a video comparison on the Nexus Google Nexus 7, the Barnes & Noble Color Nook, and the Amazon Kindle, the keyboard version. So I want to show you a size difference and kind of comparison between the two. I'm not going to go over the specs because there's plenty of videos reviewing the specs. I just kind of want to show you how they look next to each other and the sizes and the screen. Um, the first we have, well, first I'll power on the Google Nexus. Uh, this is the screen on it. I do believe I have the brightness set to mid-level. Yep. Um, the screen by far is the nicest on the Google Nexus. Um, this is the color nook. I have it unregistered, I believe. Oh, no. There we go. Um, and, of course, the Amazon Kindle It uses the e-paper technology e-ink. Um, so let me kind of go over the the details on what each is good for. Personally, I think that at this point the color nook um, can easily be replaced with these two. Uh, these are for my wife. Uh, actually, this is mine. The the initial one that she bought was the Kindle with the e-paper. Uh, reading is easier. However, the only problem with that is, um, other than daylight, is that in dark situations, at night, when you're sitting outside or in the bed, um, it is harder to read without a light. So that is what led me to choose the Google Nexus. I actually chose it over the Kindle Fire, and there's multiple reasons for that, and there's plenty of videos kind of going over that, so I'm not going to go over that. But anyway, um, at this point, these two devices can pretty much cover your reading and internet browsing and pictures. Um, as most of you guys know, the, the Barnes & Noble Color Nook has Android running, or a version of Android running underneath. It can be modded to run a uh, full Android version. However, I, I've done that using the SD, the card hack. Um, it is still not as smooth as, for example, a standard Android tablet. Uh, it is a little laggy and also because of the touch screen on the Nook, it is not as responsive as, say, um, a dedicated tablet. For some reason, you know, trying to play Angry Birds, it was it was hit or miss. And I don't know if that was the um, the modded Android system or if it was the touch screen on the Nook. I, I tend to believe it's the touch screen on the Nook. So, anyway, so let me do a comparison between two, two uh, three. The first Kindle is probably the smallest, lightest. Uh, almost thin, probably thinnest. Um, far easier to carry. I'll do a stack comparison. You can see that it's just just a tiny bit shorter than the Nexus. And then the Bronze and Noble Nook, I would say, is probably the largest. Probably not the thickest. I'll do a side by side comparison here. But it is the largest uh, of the tablets, as you can see. The one thing that the Barnes & Noble Nook has going for it, it has expandable memory on the back. You can put a micro SD card. Okay, so the, basically in this order, thinnest, uh, smallest, lightest, and then the Nexus. Uh, Weight-wise, the, no the Nook is heavier than the Google Nexus 7. So anyway, that was just kind of a comparison sizes if you want to take a look. Um, for our family and our needs, um, these two individual tablet, you know, tablets, readers, basically cover all you need. I probably will end up selling the uh, Barnes & Noble Nook um, simply because um, even though it is, it's a great system when it came out and it still is for certain applications, that it doesn't meet the the requirements. I mean, the Google Nexus 7 pretty much uh, eliminates the need for both of these, with the exception of in daylight, strong outside reading, uh, the Kindle e-paper technology is far superior um, as far as that goes. Even though you can change the brightness levels on the Android uh, device. Anyway, that's just a side-by-side -side comparison between the Barnes Noble Color Nook, the Google Nexus 7 and the Kindle just for size and just for physical um, attributes once have you guys take a look at them. Oh, all the other point is 
uh, has a camera on the front. Of course, none of these other two do. You wouldn't really expect it from this. Um, yeah, this doesn't have it. And I believe the Kindle Fire also does not have a camera. Anyway, I hope that helps some people who are trying to decide what to buy or what to look at and what to complement their e-reading um, you know, tablets with. Uh, these, the, this tube definitely went out. Thanks. Bye.